Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th. This is for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that my readings are generally love readings so we will see whatever comes up and the timing is fluid. If this reading feels like it's for you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. <laughs> I think it's for you. Okay, so we got the temperance card. It is, uh, there you are. Trying to keep things balanced, trying to keep things in order. It looks like you guys are probably going through some sort of, maybe it's even a transformation at this time. You're, you're evolving into who you're supposed to be. You're right in your own element at this time. You should be. You probably are feeling that you could be. I hope you are feeling good because this is an energy of, of balance and peace and harmony. Now, if you aren't feeling that right now, hopefully it's coming in the near future, okay? Um, at ease. Oh, well, there could be some family arguments. There could be. There could be some, some um, problems going on at home, okay? Problems maybe even between siblings or children or family members. There could be some, you know, fighting going on. We have the Knight of Cups. The Three of Swords reversed. The difficulty is almost over. You guys have, or it's over. It could be over or it's almost over. It's like it's the end of a very painful situation, okay? Or it should be starting to dissipate, all right? Because balance is about to be restored or it is starting to be restored. I see a definitely a transition here. There's There's been some disorder, that's for sure. But it looks like there's growth, okay? There's relationship growth. Or there's some sort of, you know, offer of support maybe. This could be support from a family member or anybody, okay? It could be a friend. could be a new, a new love partner. But this is an offer of support, an offer of, you know, love in some arena. It's the end of or the beginning of the end of suffering in some situation. Yikes. Justice. Perfect. Yeah, justice is about to be served in your favor. It's about time, huh? So, yeah, balance is big. I mean, it really is. It's like this things should be starting to feel more harmonious and at peace. They, they should be starting to. If not, you know, they have maybe it's, it's coming if it hasn't. All right. It feels as though things are happening pretty quickly. Um, you are receiving some sort of clarity or news or information that is is bringing it's like bringing it's bringing peace it's what you need to hear whatever is happening is is probably putting you in a better spot whatever this is although you know with the empress reverse that that's a lack of abundance but i think that's where you've been that's how other people see you that position is how other people see you lacking you know, maybe you've been lacking for quite some time. Maybe you felt like you were going nowhere, like you were having no growth. But what, if that is the case, I think the tides are about to turn because I see it's like the end of a difficult time. There's, It's starting to dissipate, that's for sure. And it, and it could be going at a pretty good pace, do you know what I mean? Like things could be changing at a pretty good pace for you. You may be receiving help from another person. Somebody may be coming in to offer you support, you know, that is going to help you whether it's financial support or emotional support or both it, i mean it looks like somebody is is coming in to kind of help you get out of this slump whatever this slump is and, and you know it's a really good thing because i feel like it's going to help you to to regain a lot of a lot of balance that has been kind of lost for quite some time. I think things have been a little chaotic in your life. 
and you may have felt like there was really nothing to be happy about but I think that that those thoughts will probably start to go away because I feel like you are are starting to be more or get more clarity than you've had in a long time whoever this person is that's coming in to help you is clearing things up for you that's what I see I feel as though you know they may help you to be more assertive and stand up for yourself whoever this person is maybe they give you that little nudge that that pushes you in the direction that you need to go you know so I, I feel like if you have been suffering and going through a really, really hard time, this week looks like it, it's going to be a little bit better or maybe even a lot better. Um, you should be receiving some communication or support from another person. That's what I see. This could even be a new partner coming in. I mean, it could be. It doesn't have to be a love partner. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be anybody, a co-worker. Somebody is coming to help. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, I think that you've lost some faith. You've lost some some um, belief in yourself. That's and that is the truth. It's like you've you're starting to give up, or you had started to give up. And no, that's when the universe will step in. When you're giving up and you get to that point, I think that that's when the universe will step in to restore your faith. And I think that you may have have lost some of it you have you have um and maybe you decided to give up maybe you just said you know what this isn't going to work for me i'm going to give up on it and you've just totally you know you need support you need support i see that you do i feel like you have you know really oh goodness i need to get another one but i feel like you really need to go down a new path regain the focus and the concentration that's been lost <laughs> and I think that there is a period of time. Maybe you're going through it this week. This could be happening now. Or this is in the, the recent, recent, recent past. Now this section right here is typically where other pe how other people see you. I think other people see that you've given up. They see that you're giving up. Whether you've given up or you're giving up. Or you're not putting in much effort. That you aren't really believing in yourself. You know, other people can probably see that you're not feeling abundant. Okay. They, put, they see that. But your challenge now, your challenge is this queen of swords, this position. This is asserting yourself, standing up for yourself, seeing things from a new perspective. That's your challenge. Open your eyes. Look at this. Get support from somebody. Have them give you their, their two cents, you know, and try to, try to see it from their view, okay? Because sometimes when we're hurting or when we're in a slump, we tend to not see the truth of the matter or not we tend to not um see the best in things so i do believe that there is somebody that is going to come help you to to believe again hopefully that's the case to to um make a conscious change the ten of wands reverse to let go of that burden to let go of that that heaviness that you're carrying around okay i think that you are about to, somebody is coming in to help you look at things differently and to make conscious changes for the better um i feel like you've been resisting for quite some time you know we tend to stay in what we know okay we tend to hang on to what we know even if it's not good for us so i feel like that's where you've been you've been stubbornly hanging on to what you know for fear of the unknown i mean so I feel like right now it's time to let go of the control and go with the flow, okay? I think that you're trying to control um, based on your own wisdom, you know, you for what you've learned throughout the years, you know, you, you've got a lot of life experience behind your back. But as you evolve throughout time and how these, um, you know, if you think about it, if you think 10 years ago, 10 years ago, where you were 10 years ago, how much you've evolved since then. I mean, as we age, as the times change, as the eras change, errors, eras, E-R-A, the era, era, eras change, life changes. And so sometimes you have to let go of the old and you can't control it and you have to go with the flow and you have to go with the new. And I think that Part of the problem is is not wanting to give up what you know and trying to control, 
you know, based on what you know. And I think that you need to be able to be more open to change. That's what I, that's what this is. Okay, for lack of being able to speak, but I feel like you've lost your concentration on your focus based on, you know, what used to be. Allow, allow the new, the new ways, the new life, the new everything to evolve within you. You know what I mean? Because it is. You're evolving. Allow it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Please. I feel as though... You know, one phase of your life, I mean, I don't have the Wheel of Fortune, I don't need it. I'm going off this Justice card right now as I speak and I look down at it. Justice is being served in your favor. You've been through a difficult time. They're trying to bring you something better, but you have to allow it. You have to allow it. Free will always, always, always plays a part. Now, this is also a card of finality, the Justice card is. One phase of your life is, is ending because a new one is beginning. Allow yourself to step over that finish line and let the new you be there. You know what I mean? Let the new you show. There you are. Get creative. Be confident. Hold your head up high. Be the boss. Get excited. This is you have an opportunity for a new adventure. Find that passion again. Let your passion show. Be who you are. Find that force within you to overcome these obstacles. Some of you have gone through such a repression that you have forgotten who you can be and what you can do. You may fear that everybody around you has hidden agendas. That's just a fear. You need to sever ties with that fear. And hold your head up high. Hold your head up high. You deserve to win. You deserve it. That's what I see here. You have two paths. You can stay where you're at. Or you can move forward into the new. You have the futures in your hands. But you have to let the new come through. I see a lot of restlessness and detachment because of all the suffering you've been through. You have the opportunity to leave it in the past and make a conscious change and drop that baggage. That's what the Ten of Wands in reversed is. You can do it. You can do it. If you assert yourself with this Queen of Swords, you can drop it at any time. You can drop that thinking. You can drop that load. You can drop that baggage. You can drop, th drop that burden. That you're carrying around that doesn't serve you. The fear. The heaviness. The heavy weight. There is heavy weight too with the justice and the ten of wands. There's a heavy weight you've been carrying. You have the opportunity to release it at any time. Any time. Any time. Any time. All you have to do is take the next step and focus on the future, not the past.
There's an opportunity for expansion if you allow it. Allow it. But you've been procrastinating and not do moving. If you if you procrastinate forever and you don't take any action, ain't nobody going to do it for you. Right now you may be feel like you're safe even though you're it's hurting or whatever. At least it's safe, right? But there's no future in that. You need to you need to focus on the future. You need to realize that the future is bright. There's no growth staying where you're at. You have to allow yourself to evolve because that's what you're constantly doing. And fighting it is going to bring struggles into your life. It's just going to bring conflicts, arguments, and lack of balance. You're being offered a new opportunity if you could only see it, if you could only accept it. Where you're at, there's, there's so much discontent. You may not even see the new opportunity because you're so focused on what isn't working. Get creative. And stop worrying about what's not working and only focus on what will work. Come up with a new plan. You're stalling a new beginning. Refusing to learn the lesson. This is refusing to learn a lesson. By staying committed to something that is unharmonious in your life. And you're committed to it because that's what you know. It's comfortable, it's safe, but it's really deep down, it's uncomfortable. Deep, deep down, it's very uncomfortable. New perspective is big with the Queen of Swords. You need to take on that energy. You need to protect yourself, you need to assert yourself, and you need to take action. There's no growth where you're at. There's no relationship growth, there's no follow through, there's no silver lining. You have to keep moving forward. You have to allow yourself to continue to evolve and do not fight it. Clinging to the past, dead end. Okay, so clinging to your past ways leads to a dead end. I mean, I can't, it is what it is, right? You need to defend yourself. You need to do what's right for you. You need to put yourself first. You need to take the lead. And you need to have no fear. No fear at all. Take action right now. Act now. Think later. Don't be afraid. Follow your passion. Allow yourself to grow. The time is now. Act fast. Action is needed. Fast action. No fear. So I feel like this is a week of you guys receiving support from somebody. 
that helps you to realize that you have what it takes to succeed, that reawakens you. It's like a reawakening if you allow it. Do I see new love? You know, there could be an offer coming in, so that could be new love, but I think this is somebody that's coming in to help you stop clinging to the past. That's what I see. I think that you've been in a period of emptiness and you need you need support from somebody and I think somebody is coming to support you to make you face your fears. I mean, you're going to have to face your fears. Facing your fears is, is going to happen. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and on the bottom, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. And that's what this reading is about in your hands. Free will always plays a part. Talk to you later.